All right, Danny, we are recording. Let's uh, make sure I got everything. <laughs> Just having fun in the chat room. Yeah. So guys, right. we have a, obviously we got a chat room and then there's also a Q&A box. So if you have questions, please post those in the Q&A. It should be on the top left-hand side of your Zoom screen. Um, so put questions in Q&A, please, so they don't get buried. We don't want to miss any questions that you have. And just for chatting back and forth, um, use the chat for that, please. That would help us out because we just don't want to miss your questions. So, um, guys, this is awesome. It's so fun to have Danny on again. We did this last December, um, and uh, this just uh, – it, it's been a blast. It's been a fun ride since then, and we're coming up to Q4. And so we just, I just wanted to have him on again and talk about Q4, how he prepares for it, uh, what he does, uh, some of his uh, really cool strategies for finding items uh, via retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. And so Danny's become a really good friend of mine. You guys know I'm the private label guy, but a lot of folks are ready. You're, you're doing RA for Q4. It's a great time to do it. You might as well make hay while the sun shines. So uh, this is the time to hit it hard. And so that's why I have Danny on to talk about his easy way to do retail arbitrage. So Danny, I'll let you share your screen and just take it away, my friend. All righty. Let's see here. I'm going to move one thing here. I'm going to be good. Okay. All right. Speaking of launches and before, <laughs> so well, as you know, I'm Danny Stock, uh, and I'm really excited about Q4. And this usually that's when you, your business takes off like a a rocket. So and uh, so we'll talk about a little bit what I do, you know, and how I kind of set myself apart, make you know, retail arbitrage and pretty much any part of your business more sustainable. And so you'll see as we go along here what I mean. Okay. Pretty cool presentation, by the way. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. So this is basically sourcing made easy. And just, uh, just for those of you who don't know who I am, um, no, I, I started selling on eBay in 2001. And you know, I've been coaching and mentoring some for the last year, year and a half or so. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm a muscle veteran of the Army. I spent some time in Iraq. I spent about a year over there. Um, and Are some you doing retail arbitrage over there? I, I actually sold stuff on eBay. <laughs> did you really? I swear I did. That's awesome. And I bought and sold stuff <laughs> on eBay. But, uh, are there any I, items that in, in Iraq that you can buy and <laughs> that are good on I Amazon? Had, <laughs> I had uh, help from home. So, no, oh, nothing cool. from uh, Iraq that I tried to start. In hindsight, maybe I should have built some <laughs> wild tiger that was over there. Well. Right. <laughs> Problem is it, uh, yeah, it was uh, highly addictive, and I don't think it would pass FDA regulations. <laughs> 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 probably get in trouble. Oh, my gosh. And, yeah, I'm That's a family funny. man, so I like to uh, – <laughs> like to spend less time sourcing and more time with family if I can. <laughs> so, and that's um, kind of just how things have always been. Um, cool. You know how I got started in Amazon and, and doing more eBay, I had mountains of debt. Um, very, at one point I was very, very poor. I didn't have any money I racked up. I mean, just thousands and thousands of dollars of debt. And I stumbled across a couponing website um, somebody was talking about buying stuff at Target that mm -hmm. you that was seventy percent off and selling on Amazon. I was already selling on eBay. I was like, well, I guess I can sell on Amazon too. Mm -hmm. So I tried it. I had no idea what I was doing. I did not have a seller app or anything. I mm -hmm. literally go in there and look up the price on Amazon.com. No idea what the fees were. I just saw, ooh, this Hot Wheels set. First thing I buy, who is <laughs> buy it for seven dollars and sell for twenty. Uh -huh. I didn't realize the fees pretty much uh, made up. I was upside down on the deal. So <laughs> first couple, as many of you know, the first couple of payouts from Amazon were negative. I owed, I owed Amazon money. So <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good business uh, model. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not a good business model. My wife was all here. <laughs> so, but I didn't give up, you know, I had a, a decent amount of success on eBay. So I thought, well, I got to keep trying. Mm -hmm. It's all stubborn me. I didn't know of any of these groups or anything that existed. I just learned it the hard way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then uh, <clears throat> a big opportunity arose, you know, a couple of years ago. 
uh, now. It's, uh, you know, it was just, I wanted to mention this because I think it's important to network and share with mm-hmm. other people is because that's how I met Ryan and, uh, and met all these other people and built these business relationships that uh, I don't know where I'd be without them. I mean, I certainly wouldn't be where I am now. Uh, so it's, uh, it's important to share. It was something that was a very lucrative deal. And I thought, well, you know what, I'll share it anyway. And, uh, it led to where I am today. So mm-hmm. I also preach a lot of diversification. So, and, uh, right now I'm, I, I feel like I'm very well diversified, but we'll talk about that later. So I just yep. want multiple streams of income. So just a little bit of arbitrage, you know, Amazon 94, eBay came around 95 during that time. You know, I was kind of selling eBay back in the heyday when everyone was getting rich, millionaires, uh, 2001, uh, late 90s. Amazon was only selling books, so a little behind the uh, the curve there. And Prime came around 2005, and that really opened up, obviously, a lot of opportunity. And now we, I think we live in the golden age of e-commerce and Amazon even. I know a lot of you don't think so, but I think we, I think we are. For, totally for agree with you. So we definitely need to capitalize on this. And if you, you kind of find yourself plateau or stalled out, you need to, you know, just kind of uh, maybe change, change gears and uh, take a different course and, uh, you know, take more action and not just uh, sit there and say, I'm going to do something. So I was guilty of that for a long time. So, so when I do arbitrage, it doesn't matter what it is, RA, OA, you know, really anything you buy and sell, you buy cheap and sell for a higher price is considered arbitrage. So, you know, the right way, if you're doing Amazon and do retail arbitrage, the right way, but use the search bar or use the visual search. And, uh, and the wrong way I think is scan, 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 which a lot of people have been taught over the years, but things are evolving and uh, changing and you got to stay, stay on top of it. Um, otherwise you're going to get left behind. You're going to keep buying things that everyone else is buying. Um, I really get stuck in a race to the bottom on products. I know mm-hmm. it's a lot of people think that's all Amazon is now, but it's not the case at all. Uh, there's so millions and upon millions of hidden listings and uh, products you can sell profitably right now. And I'm not talking like 30% ROI. I'm talking like 100, 200%. Mm-hmm. No, I'm every year I'm netting like 30, 32, 33%, somewhere in that ballpark, which equates mm-hmm. to about a hundred percent ROI on average on all your products. So mm-hmm. I think it's important to take note of that and, uh, and see what I'm doing here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, every, most people, Danny, are, are, uh, they were taught uh, when they first start and just sell on Amazon, just scan everything, go down the aisle, scan everything they possibly can. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can learn the se- the seller app that way, how it works, but man, what a frustrating way to try to build a business. People that come back like, man, I was there for two hours and didn't find anything. Exactly. So guys, I know what Danny's going to say. And so I can just tell you, you need to stick around because his method is just an easy way that's so much more efficient that um, I think he may talk about this, but when he was uh, working a full-time job, he could go in on his lunch hour and mm-hmm. come out with hundreds of dollars worth of uh, profitable inventory, sometimes thousands, because mm-hmm. he was just so much more efficient um, using his method. So you're going to want to stick around and hear what his method is. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, you know, your very own Jim Cochran defined retail arbitrage as the art and science of finding products locally, maybe at the retail shelf and cheaply and selling on internet for profit. So why, if it's an art and science, why are we treating it like it's a, um, like a, a mind numbing operation where anyone can do it. Just scan, scan, scan. What you're not even using your brain at that point. You you just, you're like, what have I done the last hour? I've scanned the file. What have I just done? Uh, not to mention how many proxies you actually pick up. Probably not too many. Um, so look, advantages of doing the way I do is that you have a very high hourly wage. You don't waste any effort. But, I mean, I used to get really, really tired from shopping all day. Uh, it was very tiring. Mm-hmm. Um, look, I'll shop all day. Uh, sometimes I'll travel to Chicago and I'll spend literally from, I'll wake up and start shopping at 6 a.m., get to Lowe's because they open the, as soon as 6 a.m. And I shop until 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. but I can hit 20 different stores in that time. 
uh, and that's dr include drive time, all that in between. That's because I spend uh, a very, very limited amount of time, maybe 30 minutes tops in the first store, because I already know what I'm going to get and I already know what to look for. So the wasted effort and you got huge ROI, huge hourly wage. Mm -hmm. You get to spend more time with your family that can't say that. I mean, if you, know, you could spend more time at home, if that's what you want to do, spend more time prepping. Cause that's always that's, the fun part. That's the fun part. That's the bottom. <laughs> I mean, that's really. the bottleneck of everyone's operation. <laughs> so, I mean, oh, I guess yes. you could spend more time prepping uh, and get stuff out more because that really, there's no way you can shortcut that unless you get uh, employees, <laughs> which, you know, is, I definitely recommend you do. So eventually. <laughs> and you get replenishables. Other way I do it, you get items you can go back in over and over again, whether they're holiday or seasonal replenishables or all year round. Uh, mm -hmm. you can get those and that means you don't have to find it again. You already found it. You can just get it and buy it over and over again. So, so my, all right, what am I searching? There's several different ways you can search in your seller app. For one, you can take brand names. You can just type in, and this is where you're not scanning. You're typing in hot wheels. You're typing in Reese's. You're typing in pioneer woman mm -hmm. and you're looking to see what's out there. Um, you're like, Ooh, this looks like an interesting listing or this one seems uh, high price. Maybe I should check this out. And then you find that I, and then maybe you can source it while you're at home doing online arbitrage in a sense. So uh, this is kind of a, a hybrid between RA and OA where you kind of blur the lines between the two. Cause when I'm in store and I'm searching a store for the first time, uh, and I type in whatever brand I'm looking at and I start looking around, I'll, I'll usually say, okay, that's a really good item. Can I buy that online? Because if you can, well, then you can get uh, extra uh, little deals like Ebates and maybe coupon codes, or you can buy, use some uh, discounted gift cards or whatever to buy the product to pad your margin a little bit. And so it's kind of blending the two together. And while I'm there in the store looking at um, potential new replenishables on muscle, looking at clearance, but I'm not really relying on clearance to win the day for me. That's just gravy. So if I find I'm in Walmart and I find a bunch of uh, Hot Wheels bundles or whatever, and I score big on that and I pick up my other stuff and I go swing over the clearance, I don't go, oh my gosh, everything's like three bucks. I'm going to buy it all. So that's just gravy. So in your seller app, you can also search bundles. You can see what's out there. There's tons and tons of bundles, especially as the season gets uh, holiday, holiday season gets here, Christmas, Thanksgiving, okay. Halloween. You can find a lot of seasonal bundles too. Um, so if you type in like board game bundles, Hot Wheel bundles, it's just kind of mm -hmm. getting your mind going, thinking about, okay, what's out there? Maybe I can sell on some of these bundles. Uh, they're selling usually for a fairly high price. And you can jump right on some of those ideas if you want to. As long as they're not protected, like exclusive item in the bundle or their brand and something like that, you can just jump right in there. Usually people just bundle two bags of candy together, two seasonal bags of candy. So mm -hmm. the, the main thing just to stress here is when you scan the barcode, you're only seeing one part of the story. You're either seeing it scans. Yes, it's there. I see the item. So I'm going to sell that or B it doesn't scan at all. But if you type the item in, you find out, okay, yes, there's an item that would have scanned Two. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of other listings I could sell on. And gosh, there's some multi packs. There's some bundles I can sell on as well. Yep. So you're only getting, if you're a crime scene investigator, we're going to take a picture <laughs> of the body and then go, well, oh, I know what happened here. You know, you're going to investigate further. <laughs> That's a great analogy. Guys, I hope you're getting this because this is all, I mean, this, it's so super simple, um, but it's just brilliant because it'll change your whole, it'll change your whole Q4 because you're told just to scan, scan, scan. And you are literally, think about if you create a bundle, you have to use either you need a new UPC code or maybe you get a GTIN exemption. And so you're not even using the UPC code. Mm -hmm. um, and so your, for most sellers, they're not just, they're not going to find those listings because they're scanning the package and uh, with the bundle, you're using a new, a new one. You're not even using those UPC codes. So you're just going to unearth so many more opportunities uh, that are on Amazon that are selling profitably. So think about if you've been doing this for a while, 
especially at Q4, you know that there's sellers, there's listings that have uh, mm -hmm. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, over 100 sellers sometimes on one single listing. How are you ever going to get the buy box unless you drop the price to a point that is not profitable or you wait for Amazon to go out of stock? And that will happen. Um, but with this method, guys, you're able to find so many more listings that are profitable that will literally just have a few um, other sellers on there, maybe just one other seller on them. And it just opens up a whole new world of possibility for you. And I'm serious, it will change your Q4. Absolutely. It, it certainly will change my business. I know it'll change your business. And look, I'm not, it's not like I'm giving up something here and I'm giving away everything. There, I mean, look, I, there's no possible way I could sell on all these listings I find. There are millions upon millions of these listings that exist. Mm -hmm. And so it's not like these are going to get saturated. Uh, look, this has been going on for years and years, and they're still not saturated going right. on any one listing. So, I, you know, like I said, if, if you were a crime scene investigator, <laughs> you would have been fired from your job a long time ago. That's right. So say, so, yeah, the guy's laying on the pavement. You must have held that building, old old granny pushed him out of the building. You know, that's what you think happened, but that's not what happened at all. You got to dig a little deeper. <laughs> so, and uh, <laughs> that's awesome. But, uh, it is what it is. It's digging deeper, guys. It's really just digging deeper. It's, it's what most sellers won't do. They're not going to take the time to to type in something. But my goodness, you do that. And okay, so here's the beauty of this. You think, okay, I'm just going to type. I'm going to always have to type in something. No, you're not. Because let's say that you type in, you go into Walmart one time and you spend a couple hours typing in items. You're going to find these items that are replenishable. These listings that you can keep selling on. And so then. Then you build up this list of, let's say, 20 or 30 or more listings that you just got to keep in stock. And so you guys know I'm the private label guy. And the reason I like private labels is because it's replenishable and you just have to keep it in stock. And so my big beef with RA is usually because it feels like a big time hustle. You're always going from store to store looking for new opportunities, looking for new inventory. And guys, this is the best way to do RA because... Danny has a method that allows you to find products that you can constantly replenish and it makes RA more of a long-term sustainable business. And so I know uh, most of you are doing retail arbitrage and it's an awesome business model. Don't ever, don't stop it if you don't want to, but do it the smart way, do it efficiently, do it a way like this to where you walk into a store and you have a list of items that you need to replenish, or you can hire somebody and just say, Hey, I need you to go in and buy these, these items. And it, it's, it's a constant, it's just something constant. You can still go to the clearance aisles and find those things that are bought. You can sell for two, buy for two, sell for 20. Um, and you can, you can go out and do those things for fun. Um, but that is like the gravy on top of your business. This stuff right here is your foundation. This is the, you can actually build a business on this strategy right here. Absolutely. That's uh, thank you for uh, clarifying all that, Ryan. <clears throat> but uh, you know, look, if you if this is, this is your job, which a lot of you this is your job, or it could be your job, wouldn't you 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 probably have to fire yourself if this is uh, all you did? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I would just scan things. I mean, you're only going skin deep. You're not really investigating. So right i would definitely have to just uh fire yourself and start over again. But, uh, so fire yourself from the scan scan sync can method yeah, and then exactly. get this new job a new method um it's not even a job it's a it's 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 a business guys you look at it as a business you treat it as a business you're finding replenishable items you're finding replenishable bundles um that you can constantly uh just constantly repl replenish and sell on exactly so Look, you can even search generic items. If you're if you're just wanting to search uh, what what are some hot sellers in in some generic categories, you can search things like toothbrush holder, drawer organizer, storage tray, things like that. A lot of the wholesale accounts I have found in the past were doing this and just kind of uh, did a stumble upon you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, a wholesaler or wow I I know that name brand I know where that comes from uh -huh. so you can go find that. Maybe not the first thing you do. Now, seasonal is a great time to do things like, and I was doing this earlier before I got on, you got like coffee gift sets and then Christmas gifts. Uh -huh. Type in like candy bundles, Christmas candy, uh, Thanksgiving candy, Halloween candy, uh, any number of things. And you'll find a lot of, you know, name brand candy uh, bundled together or as a package that you could just go to Walmart and just go buy it and put it in there. Because look, Candy is something 
I don't care. You're not going to get a better deal than Walmart gets or Sam's Club. They're literally selling it to you at cost almost. I have friends that are managers at Walmarts and they sell that stuff for like pennies over cost. So you're basically buying a wholesale anyway. So you're getting the best deal. So let's just go over a couple of examples here. So like on the left here, we got Reese's. I didn't put an S, but Reese's, doesn't matter, it still came up. Uh, so there's a lot of listings here. I was scrolling and I stopped here. I know it's a two pack bag for 10.2 ounces is uh, selling for 17.50. There's 10 new and used, but if you look over here, there's only three FBA sellers. I've seen these at um, Walmart. I the ten point and I could be wrong, but I think they are like three bucks each. Mm -hmm. So because this is a really it's not that big of a bag. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at something that's going to sell quite a bit. Look, when I scrolled through here, I found a lot more listings, but I just only have room to pick one and show you. So and you just typed yeah. in Reese. Yeah, Reese's. I, I didn't uh -huh. even spell it right. It still came up. So <laughs> so you could just scroll through here and look at all these uh, packs that people make because when you scan this this item is not going to come up here if you were scanning this you're probably not going to see this you may i don't know uh -huh. but you're definitely not going to see all these other listings so when you're there you look at the reese's packs or something up here i know it says twenty dollars for uh, uh -huh. i can't see it now but i can go back and look but uh and you could find all these listings i'll never scan in a million years as a matter of right. uh, and you're going to find them why not use the how the buyer, how the people buying this stuff use Amazon mm -hmm. search bar. They're typing in Reese's because they love right. Reese's. And so you go, hmm, I'm going to fill the fill the gaps here. <laughs> so you guys could do this in the store. You could be in the Walmart aisle or any store. We just say Walmart because it's a big store people source from. But you mm -hmm. could do this as you're in the candy aisle and you see Reese cups there. So you just type in Reese and Reese's and see what comes up and find them. Um, find the source it while you're there, or you could be out in your car. Um, Danny's done videos before where he's in his car about to go into a store and is searching on his seller app and then finds the items, or you could do this online. You could go on amazon.com and type in Reese's and just find it this way. So if you prefer not to do retail arbitrage, you could do this method right here, uh, just from, you know, sitting in pajamas at your house. Mm hmm Absolutely. Hey, you know, I was talking about bundles where you could just type in candy bundle and that's it. And I scrolled down, I saw, well, there's this 12 varieties uh, pack here. These are, um, uh, a lot of these, depending on the size, you can investigate it more. I just wanted to show you that there's so many different candy bundles. I found one, some Walgreens today, and I found these uh, cracks, witches teeth, vampire teeth. And so I just typed it in, and I saw someone bundle the two together. Uh -huh. And they're only a dollar each. And, uh, and the pack was selling for... Twelve fifty. Wow. So you can make four a quick four bucks and had a very good rank. So yep. I mean, not it's not hard. You can definitely do this. This is uh, very simple, and you can better yet, uh, you can train somebody to do, do this. Even uh, it's not not hard. So yeah, like I said, sometimes I used to sit, lay in bed and couldn't sleep. Sometimes I'd do reverse <laughs> pressing. <and like, laughs> Let's yeah, guys, that's what it is. This is reverse sourcing. Instead of scanning, you're re re reverse, reversing it. You're finding a term that you want to type in and typing in and, and then finding the, the product um, after you find a good listing that you want to, to, to source on. Yeah, I like doing it on the app. Uh, you know, it's just kind of handy. You can see the mm -hmm. ranks and reviews real quick. And it's just kind of easy to flip through the listings real quick. Uh, obviously, when you flip through the, these uh, searches, you're, all, you're going to run out after a couple pages worth. So if you want to yep. investigate further, you're going to have to go to Amazon.com and search and you get more pages of results. But uh, and then you can always favorite them. You see this button, you can favorite it, save it, so you have it. And then uh, uh, that way you won't forget it. And gosh, what was that I, was, I found the other day? So this is just very simple. I literally... And no work. This is the first thing I typed in. This is the first thing I selected. This is the first thing I typed in. This is the first thing I selected. So it's not it's not really that hard. It's just way too easy. I can't. Yep. Uh, and you guys know when um so to answer Clyde's question, um the basic parameters, um, Danny, you probably had different parameters than other people may. It just depends on, you know, with like the sales ranks and stuff. So guys, what okay. you would do yeah. is in your mind you'd have, okay, you type in Reese's and so you know that they're probably all gonna be in grocery. So you just think, Danny, what's your limit for grocery with sales rank? 80. 80,000. So, 80, so guys, what you'd be doing is if eighty thousand was your your limit, you would just scroll through here and look 
Amazon is showing you right here on the seller app, sales rank 23,381 for that top one. The second one there is 25,647. So both of those are within your range. And then you just like, okay, those are really good. Um, and then you're looking at items that like, oh man, that buy box price, 1749 for a two pack. That sounds pretty inflated. Um, meaning that's way more than retail. Meaning you can source it at a retail store and still make money. And so those are the things that pop out at you. And as you do this, you'll get better at it, but you just are able to scroll through quickly and look at the sales rank. We're like, wow, that's a really good rank in, in grocery. I want to look, look, let's stop at that one. Okay. Is the price way more than it really should be if I went to a retail store and then you then click on that one and look at the number of sellers and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, so Clyde, yes, rank 80,000 or less on grocery is Danny's parameters, but your parameters could be different. Um, mm -hmm. whatever you, if you ask 100 sellers, you'll probably get 100 different, uh, different answers on what they prefer to stay under. Yeah, I like to see a volume of at least a couple a week. Uh, I usually will stay at a volume somewhere around where it's selling about one a day. Uh, that way I feel like I have a chance to actually sell it. And, yeah. Uh, Nice thing about doing a lot of this, you find a ton of listings you're never going to get IP claims on. They're very low risk. And, uh, if, you know, grocery is a great category to do reverse yeah. because there are just so many multi-packs, bundles, uh, two Reese's bats and Reese's pumpkins. So people bundle everything together and you can't find it unless you do it this way. Um, or unless you make your own listings, but, uh, I mean, they already exist. People just keep reusing the listings over or they mm -hmm. make it for you. They do it, do all the hard work for you. So absolutely. Real quick question from David about, um, he says candy is gated in groceries. That wouldn't be every candy, right? It'd be maybe certain brands could be. Um, Hmm. That's interesting. I'm not heard of that. I've had grocery and gated for a very long time. I know there are some subcategories they have restricted. But uh, if you've been selling for a while, you could probably just get an auto approval. I know that might get a lot of questions, but. Oh, Carl said make... he thinks that's in pantry. And oh, Amazon. pantry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pantry. Yeah, that makes sense. pantry. Yeah. That's Amazon only. So okay. yeah, just uh, look for a different listing. Nice thing is with the seller app, it'll say boom restricted right here. Uh, if you couldn't sell it. So, and that's, that's kind of another reason I like to, and when you, or you pull it up, it'll say restricted right here or always yeah. yeah. looking out for the little. X or arrow that says hazmat just in case, or it's a slow moving ASIN. Don't yep. want to sell those. But uh, let's move Good on. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Look, um, you know, so look, this point is to challenge yourself, you know, type in what you see. You got to think outside the box, you know. You could think of some pretty cool search terms like your Starbucks coffee set, uh, uh, Starbucks holiday uh, coffee. Look, you can even look. You know what, after you do this a while, you're going to find out what sells really well. So just build your listings and based on your findings. So get a really, really strong anchor item like a one pound Reese's cup that everyone wants at Christmas time and bundle it with the, uh, um, I don't know, like bundle it with a, another Reese's, a small Reese's or something, or bundle it with a little uh, gift that comes with it. So there's a lot, lot more you can do with that just to set yourself apart from the competition. Let's look at a few more examples. As I just talked about the Starbucks holiday coffee, uh, every year they come out with a new 2017 coffee and uh, you could find them at uh, like an actual Starbucks store. You can go there and pick them up. I don't know how someone's selling a 2016. Hopefully that's not expired. <laughs> I don't know if I want to drink 2016 Starbucks holiday blend coffee or not. <clears throat> Those things are not like, that airtight, you know, but uh, you can type in things, and these are seasonal example examples, Thanksgiving candy. So I had a really good luck sourcing today, like I said, at Walgreens, looking at the Halloween slash Thanksgiving candy. Uh, you know, like those um, peanut butter bite things, or uh -huh. I don't like them at all. But uh, I could, they would not scan. I was like, I know this has got to be there. So I found one. <laughs> the thing is a dollar for this giant bag of uh, these peanuts. Yeah. You know, the ones that come that no kid wants in their Halloween bag. <laughs> or the candy like, corn. Like, oh, geez. What are you doing? <laughs> Someone airheads or something like that. You know? <laughs> so, you stuff like that. And you're like, gosh. And a lot of people like it. So I looked it up. Two bucks or two packages of those. And they're selling for seventeen fifty. Oh, so, my goodness. Yeah. So you could buy it. had a good rank. So uh, this, this is just full of stuff. Look, there's one seller on this Jelly Belly Fall Fest. 
festival mix. It just came out with this. I'm not, I've, I haven't looked it up yet, but I would bet you that's kind of high. Uh, and you can just scroll there, through here and find all kinds of stuff. And you can look, say, look at these name brands and say, hmm, maybe I'll investigate that further and do like a little bit of a online arbitrage type deal. Absolutely. I was going to just try to see if I could find it real quick. Um, is that the Harvest Selection gift bag or is that something different? Let's see. Jelly Belly Fall Festival. Uh, it's a mix, oh, one pound. Okay, I don't want to take up time to guys try to find this, guys, but you could literally, so you, you look here and you find, you see something that looks inflated in price and then literally just go and um, and source it online. Just grab, you could grab those those that term, Jelly Belly Fall Festival mix, one pound. Uh, go to Google, type it in, and find mm -hmm. a source for it. Like, go to Google Shopping, um, and you should probably find some place that you can get it from. Yeah, like at, um, that's a that's a good idea. I mean, that's what I do. You just have to go through some of these and take a look. And um, I know these are about a dollar each. I used to source from this company, Regent. So there's an oh, example. Wow, so that's th that would be three dollar buy cost. Yeah, there are these plastic little platters. And regionproducts.com. I, I have a wholesale account with them. So you yeah, can literally. Yeah, and, I remember them. Yeah. So that, that's a perfect example. I wasn't even looking at that one necessarily. So then when the, ha you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, especially Christmas, when that comes around, I start searching, you know, Christmas decorations or inflatables. And I start looking around and try to find these things. You can even do a, um, Let's say you can go, ooh, that's cool, Minion. Where is that coming from? You can <laughs> go to Amazon.com, do the same search, Halloween inflatable. Then you could um, right-click on the image and do a reverse image search. Mm, you yes. Want to. Uh -huh. There's a search by image extension on Google you can use. Um, that will help you find that from. Where did that come from? You know, maybe not that one, but maybe that came from Lowe's. Who knows? I mean, mm -hmm. they sell a lot of these exclusive minion that are made by Gimme. So. Yeah, but forty-two dollars is a lot for that thing. It's just a three-footer. That's probably in the twenty-dollar range. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but you can always grab this up at clearances uh, when it's uh, Halloween's over. That's mm -hmm. I do that a lot. So, but um, okay. These examples are awesome, man. Let's go back there a second. Look, just for you new sellers, because I know there are a lot of you out there. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the restrictions. And I say that because I scan a lot with uh, a new seller app um, mm -hmm. uh, just so I could put myself in your shoes. And a lot of the stuff I find is not restricted. A lot of these hidden listings are just not restricted. And I'm not really focusing on like Hasbro board games or I'm really looking – in the fringes at stuff that are outside sellers uh, view, but they're well in the uh, buyer's view. Yep. So, and that's where you want to be. You don't want to be in the middle of the buyer and the seller's view. Uh, you're going to get a bunch of listings that get tanked in price and uh, it's just not going to work out in your favor. That's why you see so many people that complain about that making, they sell a lot, but they don't make any money. Um, uh, you know, in Q4, but that, that's, that's why you got to live slightly in the fringes and work from there. So, and look, you got to diversify. So that means if you're a new seller, you should be selling on eBay. You should be selling. I've sold on Facebook marketplace. It is very lively. And I live in a rural area, mind you, the Facebook marketplace. If you live in a city and you find a uh, Kylo Ren mask and for $10, like I, like I did and you sell and they go for 45 all day and night, on Amazon last year, and you put that in Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks or 35 bucks, you will get so many uh, people trying to contact you to buy that. It'll make your head spin, especially if you live in a metropolitan area. I live in a rural area, and I get, was getting like two requests a day. I'm like, hey, wow. can I get that? So definitely think about that, <clears throat> and know, know your competitors are going to be doing that. So yeah, take advantage of that, especially if you live in a metropolitan area or close to one. So, um, that's awesome. That you talked about the restrictions because we had uh, uh, Janet in the chat room asking about uh, being a new seller. Yeah, trust me. Uh, look, you got to put your you got to put your time in as a new seller. Uh, and, you know, and right, 
it's a kind of a good thing because it does weed out some of the people who are just going to give up. But you're not going to give up, and you're going to tell yourself that you're going to continue to do uh, to do this and push forward. And Amazon will reward you as time goes on. They will automatically approve you to sell things like Lego, Hasbro, and all these big brands. At some point, I've seen this happen because we have a lot of people. Ryan and I have a lot of people we've coached. And we see, oh my gosh, I can't sell anything. I'm getting restricted on everything. And then not more than a couple months later, boom, auto approval. They get auto approved yeah. for Legos and Hasbro and Spin Master and every every big brand they ever could want. And it starts getting auto approved. They click get approved and boom, uh -huh. approved. So and guys, there's so many ways around this, True, Find somebody that's not restricted and mm -hmm. find these items for them and just cut a deal with them. Maybe you, so let's say you find something that's really popular um, and that person lives where Danny lives in Southern Illinois and he's, maybe he's not going to drive to California to find items, but you live in California and you're restricted for something that he is not. Well, you could work with somebody like Danny and say, okay, I found 10 of these items. Do you want them? I'll send them in for you and we'll split the profits. There's so many ways to just to get around it. Yeah, I've partnered with a lot of people uh, that had restrictions on their account that are presently since selling on my account some items that they're restricted on. And uh, just to help them out, they found things that were such a good deal that they just couldn't pass up on it. So don't, uh, don't pass up on those uh, deals. You could always reach out to the community, uh, whatever community you're in, and ask. Hey, who, who wants to partner up? I've got these leap pads. I found uh, three of them for 60 bucks, the leap pad threes, which that's a real deal right there. And they're selling for $160. So that's a not made up deal. That's a real one going on right now. So mm -hmm. at your local Kmart. But uh, anyway, um, so let's talk about a little bit legends. That's if many of you know that I do a lot of coaching and mentoring in a group called Amazon Legends. Mm -hmm. Now this group is very unique um, and it's kind of a you know one-stop shop for everything Amazon. We, we, when the group started, we talked about just retail arbitrage. Now we do everything because everyone is at a different level in our business. We talk about um, online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, wholesale, um, exclusives, uh, private label, because uh, you know Ryan and I have done all of that Mm -hmm. And uh, many people in our group have done all that and have uh, done it well. So we talk about all that stuff in this group. It's kind of like a uh, just a group full of a lot of selling experts, and uh, it's just a really, really. Uh, it's turned into a family. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the way the way this group came about was so last year Danny did a work. It was in December of last year. He did a workshop called uh, RA the Easy Way. It was a lot of the, some of the same information as tonight. Mm -hmm. and it was based on Christmas and finding revert, doing reverse source sourcing for Christmas. And so he was talking about all these deals that he had, all these replenishable items that he had saved in his Amazon seller app. And we're like, I, my, I had an idea. I thought, Hmm, I wonder if he'd be willing to share some of those because he had so many. And so we talked about it on the webinar and asked people on the webinar live, Hey, who would be interested in a group like that where they got access to some of Danny's finds and everybody's like, yes, 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 yes. That's how it started, and we're still doing it um, almost a year later. Exactly, and uh, it's it's it started yeah last December, and it's been going strong ever since. It's just I don't know. Uh, it's kind of one of those things you just have to be there to know how how special it really is. But uh, you know, in that group, we do a lot of exclusive webinars. So like this stuff I'm talking about, I would dig deep nitty gritty give you a bunch of deals uh that you could go and pick up right now uh, we talk about everything uh we just the last couple webinars we had were selling in canada and how we've already unlocked that avenue how to get in canada very easily um the in the group we have these oa ra we accumulate uh the ra retail arbitrage shares and share them with each group so we have online arbitrage experts that use tactical arbitrage and mm -hmm. that share deals uh, and sprinkle them in the groups uh, constantly. We also have a VA head who tracks Brickseek deals, if you know what that is. Uh, oh, explain that real quick. Brickseek is uh, basically they track inventory and prices at stores like Walmart, Target, uh, uh -huh. Lowe's, 
and you can find some amazing deals. Uh, you type in uh, uh, the SKU number if you know it. If you don't know, it's not a big deal because they they have the top deals, and you type in your zip code, and they'll tell you where they are based on your zip code within a 50 mile radius. So our our VA takes your zip code and tracks a 50 mile radius around you and delivers that those finds every other day. So that's mm -hmm. tracking like a hundred and something different zip codes right now. So wow, sending us those. So those are great for in-store pickups. Boom! I want those uh, Nintendo 3DSs that you have for 50 bucks, and I want to reserve all those. They just call the store and say, "I'm going to buy those in-store pickup." Boom. Mm -hmm. Uber Trash, go have an Uber driver. <laughs> Uber Trash, yeah. Jim <laughs> talked about that today on his, uh, his Facebook Live post in the My Silent Team group. So, look, we have free seller tools that are coming out uh, and exclusive opportunities. Like, we just had one that uh, uh, had already taken off that was with a big sporting goods brand. So, yeah, basically, we guys, we just tell everybody that's in the group, anything that Danny ever comes up with, you get access to. It's pretty sweet. Um, Everything I do is free. <laughs> You, I just pile on the deals and, yeah. and the tools. If and you guys are in the Proven Amazon course, you know what we, we mean by that. Because if you had the Proven Amazon course, every time they come out with a new course, it gets added into the Proven Amazon course, mm -hmm. and you don't have to pay extra. That's that's exactly what it's like uh, in this Legends group. The newest thing coming out that's not in the slides here, but uh, is really close to being done, I just talked about the uh, developer today, is the uh -huh. account management the Amazon account management where it can be reimbursed. Awesome. Fix your inventory, fix your bad feedbacks, all that is done automatically for you. And that's free just because you're in the group. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to sell that outside the group for as much as it costs to be in the group, aren't you? Yes. So the part of the exclusive content content that comes to the group, we have, I do my live sourcing videos. I'm sure you've seen it. If you, uh, if you looked in the Q4 uh, sessions that are getting ready to happen, I do uh, Facebook live walkthroughs of stores mm -hmm. and I just uh, talk about what's going on in my mind. I point out things to buy. I'll scan some stuff. And it's just kind of when I was starting off doing this, I kept searching for someone who would do that. And I only found this one person, but she didn't do it live. She just pre recorded and cut and paste some stuff together. So it made it look like it was really, really good. So, but I put myself on a limb there and just, Go in there and you know, <laughs> look, it's not always that great. Okay. Right. Like, you may not always find something. <laughs> I'm not always going to make a killing and sometimes I make it look easy. Right. That's, that's why it's live. So it's going to, sometimes it's going to stink. So and sometimes it's going to be great, but we constantly have, you know, exclusive webinars in the group. Oh yeah, like Danny's always that. going live on a webinar. He just does some does impromptu stuff. Hey, new <laughs> webinar! <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> which is awesome. It provides crazy amounts of content. Mm -hmm. And with, they're always recording. That's why yeah. we have hours and hours and hours of recorded material in the group, just video after video. And uh, we also have exclusive conferences that happen twice a year. So yep. we're getting ready to have one in Got October. One coming up October thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Just a much, much smaller group. Only got about 45 people come and do it, which is a perfect number for us to be yep. able to provide. It's going to be more of a workshop. Yeah, it's going to be, we're going to make you do things like uh, get your private label idea listed. Yep. Get your bundle listed. Uh, get your uh, your prep account listed. Help you outsource tactical arbitrage done. Things mm -hmm. like that. Things we like to do at these. So let's see here. Whoa, how'd I do that? So, one second. Okay. And you got the prep center too. You want to talk about that real quick? Yeah. Is that the next thing? Uh, oh, uh, just a little bit real quick. The WhatsApp groups uh -huh. that we have in Legends, we have deal sharing groups. Here's a screenshot of my, uh, my uh, WhatsApp right now. Oh, cool. I'm going to ask any ask an expert anything group, which is a Q and a. So if you ask a question, you'll get an answer. I guarantee you on average within 60 seconds. <laughs> That's so true. I'm just, I'm just, kidding. <laughs> I'm just uh, like, what is, should I buy this? And then uh -huh. yeah, I'll type, no, don't buy that. You know, or yes, yeah. buy clear the show. Yeah. So can't tell you that there is probably worth it. You don't have to go find. And uh, you know, we have the A and B groups and it's like having Danny in your pocket. 
Yes, I'll be in. I'm there all the time. <laughs> he is, guys. I, I, I vouch for that. I'm in these groups. <laughs> I help him get them set up. I'm kind of in behind the scenes. And he's he actually has a screenshot there of one of the times when I actually answered a question. <laughs> yeah, that was at 5.53. So That's right, before. right before the <laughs> webinar. So, uh, but, uh, all right. So, other perks. Well, I have a... As many of you know or don't know, I have a uh, prep center that's approved. Uh, it's a Jim Cochran approved or uh, partnered prep center. It's called Pro Prep and Fulfillment. So if you're in the group, you get 10% off your prep all the time. So I we have a guy in the group. That's all he he does. He he sends us so much stuff that he pays for his subscription <laughs> just with discounts. From that's him. awesome. So oh my uh, gosh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, which is fine with me. I don't, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, so, and we use software that automates the whole process. So if you send us something, um, we don't ask you for labels. We don't ask you for box contents or don't have to give it to you. We don't ask for box sizes or anything. We just, all of that is done through the software. If you use any other prep centers, you know, there's some emailing back and forth or Google sheet. Uh -huh. None of that happens here. And look, all the guys who work for me have been prepping Amazon stuff for a long time and they know they've been prepping my stuff and they're very particular. So yeah. if we catch something that's not right or the listing doesn't seem to match quite right, we will tell you. Uh, so, and that's pro prep and fulfillment. Yeah. Guys, I use them and it makes it so easy. I'm telling you, you just, you type in the software, your, uh, the merchant SKU and it, they do the rest. So Ryan, Pete, you want to type that URL in the chat? I just, I forgot to put it in here. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then uh, we also have a group sourcing agent. She co she costs extra money, but she's a very good deal. She lives in Singapore, uh, Grace. She's in the Legends group, and she works through us exclusively And uh, right now. And she can help you source anything from China if you want to source some from China. It's really, I just source some products through her, and I'm glad I did because I avoided the middleman. Mm -hmm. And she got me a manufacturer and got me a low minimum order of 50 on the item. And uh, so that's kind of nice. And we've even talked about going to China as a group, but uh, maybe they'll come next year. Awesome. So we have a, someone in the group who's an absolute expert on listing products and bundling. And uh, her name's Leanna and she's in the group. And she's there all the time. So if you need to ask her anything about bundles or, or whatnot, she also makes them for you. If you just want her to make them for you, they are very, very, very cheap. So, and then we also have exclusive wholesale opportunities the one we had now is come and gone, but there'll be more to come. Mm -hmm. And uh, just so you know, but uh, guys, Danny went to ASD just to find wholesale opportunities for this group. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> so he's done that twice. Yeah. So that's how I got this past one. So that's awesome. And look, you know, we are family in that group. I can't explain it because you're, uh, you just have to be in the group to know the whole atmosphere. Everyone is so caring and helpful. And, uh, and so you, we ask you, if you want to be part of the film, just join us. Um, we have, if you're international, we have international presence. We have people from the UK, Australia, Singapore, Canada, and, uh, other places. I, I'm trying to pick on the top of my head. So, and they, you know, with the prep center makes it easy for them. We also offer a, just to back up a little bit, the prep center, we offer in-store pickups. So if you lived in the UK or somewhere, you know, Danny zip code has a bunch of brick seat finds. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do an in-store pickup and steal them all from Danny's Walmart. That's fine with me if you want to do that. <laughs> I think we'll go pick them up for you for free there at the prep center because we're right in the middle of all of this big shopping. So Guys, they did that for me the, um, just a few weeks ago. I had something uh, to, uh, ordered on, at samsclub.com and uh, Kyle from the prep center went and picked it up for me for free. Yeah, so that's And they prepped cool. it for me. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> So we can do things like that. Uh, you know, this is definitely a very close knit uh, uh, close knit uh, group. Right now, we stayed right around 120 members, and we like to keep it small. We have spouses, business partners that get in the group with you if they are uh, part of your business, and then we have moderators there. Um, we've had huge personal growth stories. Uh, a lot of sellers, and this is the common theme. Whatever they were doing in Q4 last year, they've been able to maintain that sales volume now throughout this whole year. 
I can't wait to see what they do this Q4. It's definitely going to, some of them are going to be in the six figures for sure, as far as sales in one month. So, because they're already pushing, you know, uh, really big numbers right now. So, and we've had several mom and dads coming home in the group uh, on multiple occasions. We know our very good friends, uh, Kate and Nate. Uh, um, Nate was a teacher and he wanted uh -huh. to come home to the town family. And guess what? Her, uh, Kate's business has grown so much on Amazon. Just doing retail arbitrage has grown so much that Nate is home now and uh, awesome. doesn't have to go to a teaching job anymore and loves being there with the kids. And uh, they have six kids, so obviously they like to be home and uh, hang out with them. So, so we've had a lot of those stories and uh, a lot of people getting ready to come home. So, uh, you know, we a couple, couple testimonials, you know, Lisa from the group. It's not made up person. When you get in the group, you can ask Lisa, hey, do you really say that? Yes, she's there. <laughs> and Dennis, same thing. He's there right now. You can ask him if, uh, if he actually said these things. They're, they're there. They're real people. You can go ask them yourself. That's right. So, but, uh, That's awesome. <laughs> I always wonder on those uh, pages. I'm like, That's yeah, right. Are those real yeah. people or not? Is that uh, uh, Johnny S? Uh, That's Johnny, right. Is that real person? I doubt it. Right. So you can go talk to these people. I'll introduce them to you if you want me to. So. <laughs> That's awesome. A lot of them were even at the, were at the CES conference. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to learn more, you go to AMZ Legends. But I'm going to turn over to Ryan because he's going to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about the Legends and then also the Proven Q4 plan. But uh, real quick, two very quick questions. Brent says he literally sneezed seven times and just missed what you said about the Kmart deal going on right now. <laughs> would, <laughs> would you share what it would you share what that was? Oh, uh, yeah, you broke my daughter's record. Hers is five, so seven sneezes. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Kmart deal, there's these leap, leap pads and uh -huh. it's two or three. Those are, well, it depends on the clearance right now, but okay. I think the highest they'll be right now is $60. Uh -huh. They sell for $160. Oh, uh, so goodness. They're probably in the corner just throwing what looks like a pile of trash. Uh -huh. But in Kmart, that's how they merchandise their store. <laughs> the corner, and that's where you find it. Uh, that's awesome. Guys, guys Danny loves Kmart. Kmart. That's one of his favorite do, places favorite to source. Store. Yeah. That's, and then uh, Ellen has a question. If you're on a serious budget, how do you see just getting started? I started, just so you know, I started with $800 in okay. debt. Okay. I put it wow. all on credit. And. <clears throat> I, I never look back. I never had to reinvest. If you are starting off with a small amount, I would highly recommend you reinvest 100% of it for, you know, probably the first six months until yeah. you get to a point where you can't spend as much as that's is coming in. If you can't spend it all, then you know, okay, now I can pay myself. And that for me, that took about five months. That's so. awesome. Cool. 800 bucks. That's cool. I know there's guys, uh, John Bullard, I think started with $500. Yeah. And um, I was, like I said, that was all debt. I didn't have any money at the time, so I had to go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were 800 negative. That's right. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm going to share my string real quick, guys, and we'll finish this up. Um, so because of um, – so Danny's caught the attention of guys like Lance Wolf and Barrington McIntosh and, of course, Jim Cockrum. Um, so you guys might know that they have a, the proven q 4 plancom and mm -hmm. so they've asked Danny to come on um, and help out. I'll be helping out a little bit too, but um, they see Danny as the man with retail arbitrage. And so they've asked him to, to help out with the proven, proven Q4 plan, Jim Cockrum's Q4 sessions that I think this is the third or the fourth year that they've done this. And so they just seen Danny's, everything he's been doing and said, come help us out um, and make this the best year we've ever had. So Danny's going to do that. And so what, what I want to explain real quick with Danny's help is to make sure you understand the difference between the two because they are different, but there's an opportunity for you to grab both if you want. Um, so we just want you to know going in, to if there's a if you're trying to decide should you do the Q4 sessions should you join the legends there's two totally different types of things um, when you, we just want you to have all the information um, so you can make a decision so again this is a screenshot from the Q4 plan you know Barrington from Jamaica my buddy Lance Wolf just had a baby um, a big reason why um, they needed Danny's help is because Lance is kind of occupied with an infant they just had literally a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. um, and so uh, 
Danny's stepping up and to help out. And it's going to be the, uh, uh, seriously guys, it, you, um, those of you guys that are in the legends, you know how much better the Q4 sessions are going to be because of Danny. Um, so here's what you get with the Q4 plan. This is provenq4plan.com. You can go there right now. So they have um, a membership in this exclusive group, 100 or fewer Amazon sellers in the WhatsApp groups. They're going to get one to two daily deals exclusive to the group. Then there's also going to be um, multiple groups weekly in the Facebook group for the Q4 sessions. There's going to be a series of about six webinars, but Danny's going to be going live in that Facebook group. This is something that didn't happen before um, and that he's just going to, anytime he has new information or wants to do a quick webinar, a one-off webinar, Danny's going to be able to go live in that proven Q4 plan Facebook group with new content. Um, he's also going to, what's a really cool thing that everybody's going to, going to love is his look over my shoulder sourcing training. So he's going to go live in a store and show you um, how he does retail arbitrage. That's going to be in that group. Um, he's also going to do all this stuff in the legends groups too. Um, but just so you know what comes ha what comes with the Q4 plan. Um, and then he's, they have the hot lists that are going to um, just things to look out for like bolos. So if you go to Q4 plan right now, you can get um, normally eight ninety nine, but it's four ninety nine for uh, if you jump in right away. Uh, the groups I think start October twenty first and they go through December twenty first. So it's going to be a two month time frame. Um, and they what they cool what what they added this year was really neat is PayPal credit. So you can pay with PayPal credit and take six months to pay it off, and so you interest free. Uh, you can pay for your membership and spend your money on inventory. Danny, I've used that before. Any, by the have way. you done that before? <laughs> anything, done that many times. anything I missed about the Q4 plan? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. So guys, that's an awesome group. Awesome group of sellers in there. Um, so you're going to get Danny there for sure. But I want to, and so the legends is what he just got done talking about. So just want to make a distinction between the two. The the Q4 plan group runs for two months, October 21st to the to December 21st. The legends group has been going on since December of last year and is keeping keeping going. It's going to be you know for as long as Danny wants to continue to do it, as long as there's folks that want to to be in that group. But and there, it started as just retail arbitrage and sharing deals. Um, and so there is a, still a focus on retail arbitrage, but we have private label folks in there. We talk about bundles. We talk about um, selling in Canada. We have a lady named Pauline in there who has a Canada prep center that's willing to help people get started in Canada. Canada. We also do have the WhatsApp chats that Danny just showed you. There's... Um, a group for sharing deals. And then there's a group for just Q&A. If you've been in some of the other groups, you know that the bump the the deals get um you know jumbled in with all the questions and you kind of can lose everything so we decided to separate that out so there's just a group for the the deals where you share deals back and forth and just a group for q a where you can ask any and every any question that you have danny is in there all the time um it's awesome awesome uh, just interactions in there we talk online arbitrage and then the brick seek list that danny just talked about danny what else would you say is different that make what's different between legends and the Q4 groups? Uh, well, legends, like that's kind of the place where you can kind of find home after Q4. And if you, if you want to grow your business within one group, like I said, one stop shop, then that's where you can stay and develop your, your business. And that's what a lot of people are doing. They've already evolved from RA to OA to wholesale now to private label. And so they're kind of advancing their, um, and I'm there. I've kind of, had a lot of experience in all those. We have a lot of accessible private label products. So we can talk all about all those things intelligently. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to, you get tired of jumping around, you just want to get to know people and be part of a family that doesn't change, uh, then that's a great place to be long term. Absolutely. Um, Janet asked, is Legends delve into OA or mostly focus on RA? Both, Janet. We have uh, um, seriously both uh, both topics in there for sure and, and beyond, wholesale, private label. All of the forms of inventory that you could do on Amazon, there's people in there that talk about it. eBay, yeah, even. We talk right. about eBay, so, I mean, don't forget about that. Yep. And so for the Legends group, you can get in as just a three month trial as low as six ninety nine. Go to AmazonLegends.com. Guys, I promise the investment is worth it. Um, but you can get in there just a trial. If you want to test it out, see if it's for you, go for it. Um, we'd love to have you a part of the group. We're only going to have just a few more people join because we want to keep it small. We love uh, the kind of the small family atmosphere that we have there. 
But so for those of you that are interested in possibly doing both, uh, we negotiated a deal with Jim Cochram's team to get you 25% off the Q4 plan group if you decide to do both of them. So the way to do that, if you're interested in that, to get 25% off of the Q4 plan, of the provenq4plan.com, purchase Legends access through amzlegends.com, and then email your paid receipt for the Legends group to ralegends at gmail.com, and then we will email you back the discount link to get 25% off with the coupon code. So I'm going to type in here real quick in the chat. It's amzlegends.com to get access to the Legends group. And then if you want to do both, then go to ralegends.com, ralegends at gmail.com. Send your paid receipt there, and we'll send you back the discount link to get 25% off the proven Q4 plan. Danny, that's all I have. Let's see if there's any other questions here. Uh, Brent, any group I do not belong to? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like I'm involved in a lot of stuff, Brent. Um, it's fun, <laughs> though. I, just, uh, I love that you guys, you, if you know me, you know I love to help. And so that's my, that's my heart. Um, and that's so much fun to be able to help Danny with this group. So, guys, Danny is the face of the Legends group. I help in the behind the scenes. Um, by, but by far, he would be – he's the leader of that group. Um, Carol, after three months, what is the fee? There is a discount once you're an insider. Um, it, you can get in at one ninety seven per month um, a, as an insider. Uh, let's see here. What if you already joined Q4? Um, Paola, awesome. I'd love to have you in. Um, if you've already joined Q4 and you want to join the Legends, we can still get you the discount. Just email me. I'll take care of it. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, what we'll do is we'll get um, – uh, Jim's team will help us out. Yep, same question, Carl. If you've already rolled in the PQ4, we can get you a discount. Uh, just uh, sign up for the Legends. Email us at ralegends at gmail.com, and we can help you out. Uh, Clyde, to save the chat, you guys can go to, uh, go to the chat box, click on More, and click that option, the option that says Save Chat. Um, Elmi, I hope I said your name right. Money back guarantee. Yeah, if you, if you get in there and it's not for you, we'll give you your money back. Absolutely. Um, no problem at all. We, we're going to love it. But if you get in there and decide it's not, not something you want to be in, that's totally fine. The same way with the Q4 plan, gyms, all the gym stuff comes with a money back guarantee. If you decide to jump into the Q4 plan and that's not for you, uh, you get to uh, get your money back there as well. Let's see, any other questions? No. Oh, Clyde says the only choice is merge to meeting window. Okay, Clyde, I will save it for you, buddy. All right, I will save it for you and get it to you. Any anything other thing? Um, oh, Janet asked, do you think Q4 program is worth jumping into if a new seller on Amazon, if you're a new seller on Amazon, i.e. gated? Uh, make sure you qualify to sell like FBA if you do for Q4. When I, when I did the first Q4, that's where I made my start the Q4 sessions. And that's where I met a lot of people and made some really good friends. That's why I'm main re one of the many reasons why I'm here today. So, um, the way I approach uh, my shopping is I try to keep all new sellers in mind. Yeah. I will post occasional deal that's Hasbro, but <clears throat> a lot of the stuff that I find is not gated for anybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Meaning that like the Christmas decorations are inflatables or the, you know, like the Christmas decorations from Walmart, Home Depot. And a lot of these bundles are not gated. They never are or restricted. And that's where I like to thrive anyway. So in a lot of the big name brand stuff that everyone sees clearance at Walmart, that's the stuff that gets tanked anyway. So why would you want to be on that anyway? So, um, that's that's where I live in the fringes. So and almost all that stuff is unrestricted for new sellers. So just something um, something so you, so you know. Jenny, yes, the uh, the Legends group is available after Q4. Um, and yes, there's a replay for this. We'll email it out to everybody. Uh, Francesca, the 6.99 is the whole three month period. That's the trial period for three months. Um, but you can do it monthly too. I just what I, what I said was it's as low as six ninety nine for the three month trial for the three month period. Um, you can do two forty seven a month for that three months if you prefer. 
Um, but you can also have the option of doing just going straight to the yearly for 197 um, for the month. So, um, oh, quick, uh, Danny, uh, people last year were, um, Amazon was telling people that um, if you had not sold uh, by a certain date, you couldn't sell until like after um, yeah, December or something. Like January. That, yeah. I heard somebody say like October, do you know what that date is that need to get stuff in if you're not I sold? I think it was like the 21st. So I think it's uh, like mid October. Okay. So, um, yeah. So guys, if you have not sold anything before, get something in ASAP, even if it's something you don't even, don't even worry about trying to make money on it. Just get something sent in so that you can sell. Um, Clyde Nathan said one. October 31st at CES. Okay. Someone say something about the one-time payment. Oh. Yeah, I answered that. Okay. Um, answered Doug. Lots of questions. That's good, guys, though. I appreciate that. Um, Danny Janet says, one other question for the cost of the program. Do you think a new seller can earn substantially more than the cost in Q4? I did, but the, the only the only thing, the people that don't make money that you see complain about Q4 sessions are the people who didn't take action. Uh, that mm -hmm. Because I was a, one of the moderators or an admin in one of the groups, a couple of groups, I would tell people stuff to buy and I would watch this stuff and notice that any, no one was buying it because they were just sitting there and they would always have an excuse why they didn't do this or that. As long as you're not one of those people and you want to take action, that's the key. All you have to do is take action. Okay, I'm going to go buy that. I'm going to go shop today. I'm going to stay up late to get mm -hmm. this done. Uh, you will easily make your money back. I promise you that, but you have to take action. But if you, if you don't know if you're going to have enough time, maybe not. You know, those, those are the kind of people that, uh, uh, what, let's see. I'm sorry, there was, I was okay. I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely you'll make your money back. Just take action. I did in, uh, well, last, last Q4, I was in the Q4 sessions last year, and we did six figures in one month. So wow, that's awesome. And that was with me living outside the, in the fringes, not buying everything, falling the herd over the cliff. That's what uh -huh. I call it. Everyone buys a pie <laughs> face and jumps off a cliff, you know, falling so the herd over the, that's awesome. No um, Gina wants to know if you live somewhat remotely, like she lives in Lake Tahoe, I guess <laughs> limited as far as retail arbitrage. Oh, wow, well you and I are friends because I live out in the middle of nowhere too. So <laughs> I, live, I live in a, a town, only 17,000 people. We have one other big town. The rest of them, you have to drive two, two hours to get to a city, really three hours to get to a good one um, mm -hmm. for retail arbitrage. So I completely understand uh, what you're going through. So um, if you have any small town Walmarts around you, that's where you want to go anyway. So uh, think about small places. The best places I've found, and I'm sorry I didn't mention this during the webinar. Maybe people watch it before. But all the regional stores or smaller stores that no one goes to is where I have a lot of success. Mm -hmm. so, Reno, 45 minutes away. I drive, I kid you not, three hours one way to get to a cluster <laughs> of stores and drive back three hours in the same day. So, and it is well worth my time doing that. So if, if 45 minutes away, that would be, that's normal for me. <laughs> Stop Stop talking, the I just, uh, yeah, I know but, but the thing is, Jana, let's just say you just don't want to go to Reno. That's totally cool. You can do this on all, you can do this online. Oh, sheesh. I can't, I won't complain. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. So, um, Jenny, what about inventory funding ideas? Oh, ooh, ooh. I love that topic. And so does Keith Crow. Uh, <laughs> one of, one of the, um, Ryan's friends. So, there are a lot of great credit card deals going on right now. Chase Slate, has, if you just want something with no interest, 18 months, zero interest, uh -huh. Slate is a good card if you just want to float your way through Q4. I mean, that's 18 months. <laughs> and uh, so I, you could just rack that up and then pay it down as you get out to November. I mean, your cash flows are going to go like a ski slope until November, which is fine because they shoot up through the atmosphere you know, right. towards the end of the December and January. So you get all your money back that way. Um, so yeah, definitely look into the, there's a lot of, uh, geek, uh nerdwallet.com has a great, is a great place to look at for those. You <laughs> nerd filter, wallet. Yeah. You could filter all the great credit card deals by bonuses, sign on bonuses, if that's mm -hmm. what you want or no interest, you can filter by what you want. So cool. 
guys, if you have any other questions, um, you can send them to me, Ryan at RyanRieger.com, or probably even better yet, go to RALegends at gmail.com, and uh, Danny can answer them there too. But uh, feel free to, to jump in the group. We'd love to have you. Feel free to try it out. Um, again, if you want to do the uh, do both, you can do um, – let's see. Right here, get both, receive 25% off the Q4 plan group is to purchase the Legends access and just email us the receipt for the Legends to that email and we'll get you the discount link. So guys, we appreciate you doing anything else. No, I don't think so. I could talk all night, guys. But oh, I, I know. You could. Yeah, and you, that's, you, you, that's, what, that's what he does in the Legends group, guys. He'll just do webinars and go on for an all long time. You want to see what's time. going on in this brain of mine? Just kind of go on. <laughs> Or the um, Q4 sessions because I'm just going to ramble in there too. So That's hey. right. So guys, <laughs> either place is a great place to be. Um, the Q4 group is just a, it's a couple months long. Um, it's going to be awesome. Danny's going to provide killer content there. If you want something though that goes on longer um, after afterwards um, than the Legends and goes above even beyond what, what's going to be in the Q4 playing group, then give Legends a shot. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely. Guys, we appreciate all of you. Let us know how we can help you out. It, honestly, it's a pleasure to serve you. Um, and I uh, just want to have an awesome Q4. Yep. All right. See you guys. Thanks. See you guys.